today's video is an exciting video because I did this full makeup look using a drugstore makeup products. Now, the brushes aren't all drugstore. I did use some Morphe brushes which are affordable but all of the makeup products are drugstore and what really made me want to do this is I was in Ulta yesterday and I went in to get a serum and of course I came out with more than a serum so I saw these new NYX Avant pop palettes and I was intrigued I was like oh my god this looks like Inglot palettes does it not like the size of these eyeshadows just look they screamed Inglot to me I didn't test them out or anything in store I was just like let's wing it let's buy two let's see what we can work with so of course I got this more neutral one and then I also got this one that's a little bit more cool tone and has some fun colors in it so of course I wanted to play with this one and this is just a look that I came up with I really hope you guys enjoy it I know you guys love drugstore products I did post a picture of another drugstore um, makeup look I did not too long ago which you guys will be seeing within the next week or two you'll be seeing it I promise but yeah I just really love this look I think it's fun and yeah I hope you got I hope I didn't just break the palette <laughs> I didn't break it this one's called ooh Nueva Chic that's this one that I used today and then this one is surreal my heart I feel like I'm not saying that right surreal my heart it just sounds weird if you want to see a tutorial with this one like this video or just like it if you like it <laughs> um, and I will do that for you guys leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried these out if not if you're looking forward to trying them out and yeah let's just go ahead and get started with the video Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this NYX palette. I have already forgot what the name is called, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to take that shade I just showed you, and we're going to put this all into the crease on the lid. This is going to be our transition shade. It's nice and light, but it's not too light. It's the perfect transition shade for all these colors we're going to be using. Then we're going to take this chocolate brown and we're going to use a pencil brush and we're first going to really deepen up this crease. It's kind of like a cut crease but not as precise. You just really want to put quite a bit of product into the crease and for me I'm going a little bit above the crease as well to make my lids look a little bit larger. How many times can I say crease? How many? Like, I don't know, maybe a thousand? I have no idea. <laughs> but you just want to go ahead and build this color up, and then we are going to start working this into the inner corner and also the outer corner. So right here, I'm putting a little bit in the outer corner, and then also right here in the inner corner. This is going to look messy at first, but just, just keep going. I promise it's going to look fine. It all looks a little messy at first, I feel like, but it'll work out, I promise. So then after you've applied that product, we're going to take a clean blending brush and we're just going to blend just so we don't have any harsh lines and nothing looks jagged and crazy. So just keep in mind blending is your best friend and also the tape on your eye is one of your best friends too, at least for me. It makes cleanup so much easier and gives me a nice sharp line every single time. Um, I've explained why I do it like a million times, but if you don't know why, just go check out a couple of videos back. I explained it in that. Moving on, I'm going to take this olive green color and we're going to place this all over the lid. And I went in one time with this one right here. All I'm doing is just blending it out with this shadow brush and I'm telling you, it goes such a long way. This palette is so pigmented. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I can't. So you just want to pack this all over the lid and take it up to the crease area where we have that brown. Don't be afraid to take it over the brown that's on the inner and outer corner. It's totally fine. The brown underneath is just going to add a little bit more definition, a little bit more dimension, and smoke it out a bit. So you're going to do the same exact thing for the other eye. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to take the light kind of shimmery champagne-ish bronze shade in here, which is that one right there. It's a little bit darker in person. And we're going to flip that brush over and just put this on the center of the lid. You can just tell the difference between my right eye from where I'm sitting, my right eye and the left eye that I'm working on. I mean, it's just such a difference. It brings the eye look to life. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely adore this color. I can't wait to do a lighter look with this palette because this color will be going all over the lid. It's stunning. 
So like I said earlier, it just brings a lot of life to this look and you just want to blend it out with the same brush that you've been using. And then we're going to take a blending brush in the very first shade we used and just go in and blend even more. Then we're going to take this brown again and a short, kind of more dense brush. This one's from MAC. But you can use whatever one you have. And I'm just going to put more of that brown in the outer corner and then drag the excess into the crease just to make sure we don't lose too much of the intensity that we had put on the outer corner and into the crease. So again, pack it on the outer half and blend it in the crease. Then you take the tape off and your cleanup is done. And then we're taking this NYX gel liner and I did a winged liner which took me a hot minute because it's been a minute since I've done winged liner. But let me tell you, I've missed it so much and this is the blackest gel liner ever. Like I'm just so obsessed with it. Then I'm applying Coco Lashes in Goddess because they're just an obsession that I have. And then taking my number 7 Beautifully Matte Primer, I went ahead and applied that. And then we're taking the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in Fresh Beige and putting that on with a beauty blender. And I like this foundation. It looks a little off right now. It looks good after we're complete, so just bear with me. <laughs> Then we're going to take this NYX concealer, which is too light for me, so, uh, but it magically ends up working out. That's just the magic of blending and makeup. It just somehow works. I don't know how, but it does. So I'm going to put this in all the areas that I usually do, which is underneath my eyes in a triangle shape or an upside down triangle, whatever you want to call it, center of my face and on my nose. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend it out. I'm going to take the pointed edge and blend out most of my concealer and then flip the sponge around to where I was putting foundation on with it and have it help blend even more. So if you just kind of, if you're using a brush, you can use a sponge to blend in and then take your brush to blend out the edges just so it goes in seamlessly with the rest of your foundation. Then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette, I believe it was called, and I'm taking the two lightest shades and setting my concealer with it. There's literally a white shade in here, and I don't want to set my under eyes with a white shade, so I made sure to mix it with a skin tone color. And I didn't realize that I had one non-drugstore product, but this is not very high-end. It's not that pricey, but it's a really good bronzer. It's from the Sephora brand. I think it's like... 14, 15 bucks. I mean, that's pretty much how much everything is in the drugstore anyways. But I'm going to bronze my face with it and I love it. And then I'm going back into that BH Cosmetics palette and taking the darkest shade and contouring with it. Be very careful with this color because if you do too much, it will look crazy. But I love it. If you just start out light and build it up, it is such a beautiful Beautiful contour, and I really do love this palette. I think it's an all-around great palette. I just wish that it had a better bronzer in it, to be quite honest with you. And then I turned my Vanity Girl mirror lights down, and look, we kind of have like regular lighting now. Is that crazy? <laughs> and then I turned it back on. <laughs> now I'm going in with this shade, and this is like my favorite blush color ever. It is so beautiful, so pigmented. And it goes with the look so well. I just, I absolutely adore it. So I'm going to apply that and then again blend out with a Morphe brush. And I just, I'm obsessed. I love it. After that, I wanted to improvise and use a highlighter from the palette. So I'm going to take the shimmery shade and then the matte shade. And we're going to apply this on the tops of the cheekbones. And I just winged it and I ended up really liking the way that it turned out. Because the lightish shade really helped lighten it up. And let me just say, isn't it funny how I just tap my fingers like it was a brush? Isn't that, that's like habit. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's habit. And then I'm taking the NYX eyebrow gel and I'm just going to go ahead and... Fill those in right before your eyes. And then I'm going to take these two light shades again. I mainly took the matte shade at the end of this just because the matte shade really showed up a lot better than the shimmer shade and just looked better with the look in my personal opinion. So I just applied the matte one underneath my brows to lift them. And then I did take the shimmery one and put it in the inner corners of the eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. Taking this Rimmel Nude Liner. I love this. I've been using it for so long. I'm going to put this in my waterline. And I love it because it really opens up the eyes and doesn't like drown you in the dark makeup. You know what I mean? A nude eyeliner is so perfect for looks like this just to make sure you look awake but still smoke things out. 
Then I'm going to take that chocolate brown color again in a flat shader brush and we're just going to press this up against the lower lash line. This is just going to add definition and really bring the whole entire look together once we blend it out. So I did pile this color on a quite a bit uh, because once you start blending it blends out most of it. So I'm going to do that for both eyes and then I'm taking the very first shade that we used in this whole tutorial which we used in our crease and I'm using a pencil brush just to blend that line out. Then I'm going to take my favorite mascara from the drugstore and it's the L'Oreal Miss Manga. And I'm going to use it for my bottom lashes today because it really does separate very, very well and doesn't make them look spidery or anything like that. And then we're using one thing for our lips and I love these. I forgot to use them in, or I forgot to mention them in my favorites video, but I love these NYX nude like crayon lip things. I mean, they're amazing. I don't know what color this is, but I'll leave it down below. I love it. They dry matte and they last a really long time, so I highly recommend them. And I like the fact that they're in a pencil form, so you don't have to have a lip liner and everything else on top. It's just this and you're done. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it if you liked it. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Cute. And these are the pillows I have on my bed. Well, now Rose lays on them, but these are the pillows. There's a little desk right there that I really like, but I don't like the antique look of it. Like, I want it to be a clean, white table. So, I'm trying to find something. I really want a bean bag. Like, I like the dress.